how do you mount a VHD file so that it shows up here in my computer? Well, I found out you can do it using PowerShell and Diskpart with a pretty simple script. So you'll see we have two variables and we're just passing one variable to Diskpart as a pipeline. And the variable consists of the path to a VHD file, in this case lab.vhd, and it's simply right here in the middle of a script where we're passing two separate disk part commands and I found out that disk part can mount virtual disks so uh, the first command is select virtual disk and you give it the file then we're handing it the path and there's a return character and a new line special character here and the second is to attach the virtual disk so when we run this maybe you heard it but I now have a new volume here so I can add files to my virtual disk now I can operate with it as if it's a normal disk and what I needed to do with this was to make it larger so I can even come into disk manager and I'm using Windows 7 professional I have the option to extend the volume I'm just gonna add another gigabyte and that's it so I can exit out and I have more space on my drive well how do I unmount it it's simple detach and that's it so that's how you can keep a PowerShell script handy um, I might even make an example where this can be used as a function um, where you can pass a parameter to it with the location of the VHD. Uh, it's pretty simple and it works and it used PowerShell. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.